Auto Maxi Flash, J2534, not connecting with GM Tech Line, connect SBS2? Here's the fix. Hey there, fellow automotive enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel, your one stop destination for all things car diagnostics. Quick question for you Have you ever tried connecting your Auto Maxi Flash, J2534, with GM Tech Line Connect and encountered issues? Well, you're not alone because today we're diving into exactly that problem and I've got the fix you've been waiting for. Stick around because this might just save you hours of frustration. Before we get started, I want to remind you, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. We're here to help you understand how to solve common problems in the world of vehicle diagnostics and programming. All images, clips, and discussions in this video are for review and educational use only in line with fair use guidelines. We're not here to promote any copyrighted material, and all the brand names mentioned belong to their rightful owners. Please make sure you follow manufacturer guidelines and local regulations when working on vehicles. And hey, while we're diving deep into today's topic, I got a little favor to ask. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for updates, and drop a like. It only takes a second, but it means the world to me and helps keep this channel running smoothly. And if you want to show even more support, consider leaving a super thanks. Let's make this video go viral. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the first 24 hours. Can we do it? I know we can. All right, let's jump into the issue at hand. So, here's the deal. You're trying to program a new TCM transmission control module on a 2019 Chevrolet Tahoe, but every time you try, you keep getting a frustrating error message. You're probably wondering, does TechLine Connect even work with the Auto J2534 anymore? Well, that's what we're going to figure out together today. The solution. Well, here's the problem in a nutshell. TechLine Connect slash SBS2 has recently undergone an update, and that update requires new drivers, drivers that are still in development. And this is the key issue. The older gray box from Auto. It's no longer compatible with the new update unless you update the drivers, which, as mentioned, are still in the works. But don't worry, there's a solution. The newer JVCI slash JVCI plus box from the Auto IM608 series will work with the system. So, if you're still rocking that older gray box, it might be time to upgrade to the newer model to keep everything running smoothly. Here's the full fix rundown. 1. Update both TechLine and Auto Maxi Flash firmware. This is essential to get everything working correctly. Outdated firmware is a big reason for these connection issues. 2. Update your J2534 drivers. You need to make sure the J2534 drivers are up to date. Sometimes, even a small version mismatch can cause major issues. 3. Ensure proper connection. It's crucial to double check that your Auto Maxi Flash is connected properly to the vehicle. Any loose connections can throw things off track. 4. Maxi PC Suite Version 1.45 Update. Make sure you're running the latest version of the Maxi PC Suite. Version 1.45 will ensure that your software is fully compatible with the updated drivers. 5. Update Java. Yes, Java. I ran into this issue just the other day when I was programming the HMI on a 2014 Tahoe. I updated Java, and boom, everything worked perfectly. Tip for dealing with error E6961. If you encounter the E6961 error at the beginning of programming, don't panic. The solution here is simple. Just start the process over without cycling the key. This often resolves the issue on its own. So, if you've been having issues with your Auto Maxi Flash J2534 not connecting to GM Tech Line Connect, these steps should help you get back on track. I want to know, have you run into this issue before? What other troubleshooting tips have you tried? Let me know in the comments below. Before we wrap up, let's hear your opinion. Do you think it's worth upgrading to the newer JVCI slash JVCI plus box for smoother operations? Or do you think Auto should work harder on resolving driver updates for the older models? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's talk about it. I want to say a huge thank you to all my loyal viewers and subscribers. Your support means everything. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Don't miss out on future updates and diagnostic tips. Don't forget to like this video, 
leave your comment, and share it with someone who could benefit from this info. Remember, your support keeps this channel going, and together, we can grow this community. All right, before I go, here's the answer to that question from the intro. Yes, TechLine Connect can still work with the Auto J2534, but only if you update the drivers, firmware, and ensure everything is connected correctly. If you've been struggling with this, I hope this video has helped clear things up. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy diagnosing. Catch you in the next one.